But for me, at the heart of this policy, the personal and political are tightly intertwined. It's, it's 51 years ago since one Sunday morning, I crawled into my parents' bed only to be told something as a four-year-old I could hardly fathom. My cousin Malcolm, just a year older, had gone to be with God. The night before, his parents, Agnes and Len, were sat on the bus in Llanderbier, waiting to go to Ammanford to meet my parents at the miners' welfare. Malcolm Bach was safely across the road with our grandmother, but in a split second, he decided he wanted to say one last good night. So he ran across the road to the bus stop, waving and smiling, until a car overtaking the stationary bus stopped him in his tracks while his mother and father watched. He died in their arms. It was his last goodbye. And in that instant, their world, our world, and that of the family of the entirely innocent driver became darker and smaller forever. Can we say for certain that if the speed limit had been 20 miles per hour on that stretch of Blyne Road that night that my cousin would have been alive today? No. But we can certainly say the chances would have been very significantly higher. This policy will certainly save some lives. The only uncertainty is how many. So I am proud to have voted in favour of it. I'm proud that it was included in our manifesto. In preparation for this debate, I went on a personal pilgrimage yesterday to the spot where Malcolm died. I saw the new 20 miles per hour sign a hundred yards or so away. It had already been daubed with paint. And I thought to myself, what have we become when the sincere, decent, principled attempt to save the lives of children and others is a catalyst for so much anger and hate?